As a society, we discourage college students from smoking cigarettes or e-cigarettes due to the negative implications smoking has on one's health. However, due to the newness of inventions such as trendy e-cigarettes such as the Juul, there are few known studies that have extensive research regarding the possible negative implications of smoking e-cigarettes. Few realize the potential negative implications of these products. Thus, we have chosen to address the issue and create two one-minute, 30-second persuasive videos to deter our audience from smoking. While the focus is on persuading college students to stop smoking e-cigarettes because e-cigarettes still fall under smoking and health implications are also due to nicotine, the overall message is to stop smoking, but specifically juuling or smoking cigarettes. For both of our videos, in order to create strong, effective, and persuasive messaging, we have used the narrative paradigm, cognitive dissonance, and artistic and artistic proofs throughout. Specifically for artistic proofs, we have used music and sound choice to emphasize the facts and to make the messaging more stronger. We will now provide a more in-depth analysis about how we created the content for both of our persuasive videos. For video one, we decided to use a story to make our key message more meaningful and impactful. By using narrative paradigm, we want to create a stronger impression for the audience as stories tend to be more attention grabbing than statistical data or research studies do. For example, the story's character, Bob, represents a typical BU student so that a BU student can find Bob's story relatable. We implemented the social cognitive theory into Bob's story as after he sees John using e-cigarettes, he eventually starts using a jewel himself. This is a process from observation to action, where one learns from their environment and those around them. We then created cognitive disson dissonance among the audience by filming the video outside of Questrum, where students are often spotted smoking outside of the building during class breaks. For viewers who smoke and actually have smoked in front of Questrum, the video can make them feel uncomfortable as it reminds them of the harmful effects dueling may cause. We also used inartistic proofs as we cited from a Harvard research study in the video adding credibility to our messages. Near the end of the video, Bob discovers he has popcorn lungs from smoking Juul and with that we hoped the video could act as a deterrent and persuade current smokers to stop smoking. The video ends with keep smoking to create discomfort in the audience as there are conflicts between the values and beliefs they already hold about smoking and the new information given to them about their actions. Again, we put in at the end of the video links to websites that provide extended information on the dangers of smoking along with resources to help people stop smoking, further enhancing the effects of cognitive dissonance. The second persuasive video tells the story of Nancy, a nicotine addict who has her dreams of starting a family crushed because of her addiction to smoking. This video communicates persuasive information against smoking by telling a story to make the information more meaningful and impactful to the audience. This theory is called the narrative paradigm and was developed by Walter Fisher in 1978. Throughout the narrative, we also use other forms of persuasion. We use the concepts of both pathos and logos, which were conceptualized by Aristotle in ancient Greece in the narrative as well. Pathos refers to the audience's sense of emotion. The fact Nancy couldn't have kids invokes emotion in the audience, especially sadness. Logos plays to the audience's sense of logic and makes the audience ask themselves the question, why should I smoke if it causes these things? Is partying in college really worth it? We create cognitive dissonance in the audience by highlighting the dangers of dueling and smoking cigarettes. Cognitive dissonance is the state of having inconsistent thoughts, beliefs, or attitudes, especially as relating to behavioral decisions and attitude change. Here we remind the audience of their own hypocrisy and reminding the audience of, that their own attitudes and beliefs are inconsistent with their actions. Most people who smoke still want to live a long life and assumably don't want to lose the ability to have children. Our overall goal from showing this video is shifting the audience's latitude of acceptance in regards to smoking cigarettes and jewel. Latitudes of acceptance are those positions which are acceptable. Current smokers find smoking in their latitude of acceptance and by utilizing the persuasion strategies of pathos, logos, and cognitive dissonance, hopefully our audience's opinion on smoking will change and fall into the realm of their latitude of rejection, which is when positions will be actively opposed. We hope that by watching the two persuasive videos, our audience members, specifically at BU, will be less inclined to pick up smoking in any form. As of right now, there is little research about e-cigarettes health implications which essentially means users don't necessarily know what negative side effects they're signing up for in the long run. 
The FDA is currently inspecting Juul, and the public will only know more about Juuling in the future. So before that, stop smoking.